and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. Today we're going to use the Optimum 400 juicer again, this time to make the most beautiful banana cinnamon whip ice cream. So simple, so easy, and remember you can always use the Optimum juicer for more than just a juice. So first thing that we needed to do is assemble the juicer and I haven't done that yet today because there was one key point of difference than with juicing. Your Optimum 400 juicer comes with two attachments or baskets. This one here is a fine mesh. The other one is a blank plate and that's the one that we're going to need to make the ice cream. So all we need to do is take the bowl, put in the spinning basket Line up the dot at the top of your homogenizing blank plate with the dot on the edge of the bowl. Lock them in place. Pop the screw or the squeezing screw as it's sometimes called into the top and attach the hopper by lining up the dots and locking it in place. Sitting the whole unit on top and there you go. Simple and easy. Now remember nothing's going to come out of the side here where the juice normally comes out because we've got a blank plate. Everything will come out of what is normally the waste tube but this time it's not waste. Now we've got two types of frozen bananas here, well actually the same type of banana but two ways of freezing them. My favourite way is just to peel them before freezing. Big key thing, if you pop your banana in the freezer without peeling it you'll never get it back out again without defrosting it. So very important um, thing there. The other way is to actually peel and mash the bananas and pop them into individual size portions. You can do that in a ice cube tray, in a Ziploc bag, in a plastic bag or, or a bowl or a container. The bananas that have been frozen whole will need to be cut lengthwise so that they fit down the feed tube and the bananas that have been frozen mashed as long as you can break them into pieces and these ones have defrosted about five minutes out of the freezer so we can break them up and pop them straight in. So we turn the juicer on, feed everything through about halfway we're going to add a pinch of cinnamon and then keep going. We'll add that pinch of cinnamon now. You can add other sweetener if you like, a little touch of agave, which we don't really approve of um, because agave is as highly processed as a high fructose corn syrup or a coconut nectar. Uh, but bananas are so sweet, there's no need really. Just popping everything through. There we go. We don't even need to use the tamper. Now you'll see where the cinnamon was mostly and that means that once you serve the banana out of the uh, waste bowl here, you'll actually be able to just stir it through and make sure you've got a great flavour. So why don't I finish that up and serve it for you so you can see exactly how it's going to look today. Bananas are a great fruit. They're much better for you if you choose to have them when they're a little bit brown on the outside. They're nice and sweet at that point. They do have a higher sugar content at that point but it is a really great healthy time for you to be eating them. Um, if they're a little bit green they're a little bit starchy to be having. So I'm going to cut that off stir it all the way through. You can see it comes out just like a soft serve. It's beautiful and creamy. Just mixing up the plain banana and the cinnamon banana. Once you've mixed that up to your desired level, I don't mind to have a little bit that's plain and a little bit that's got cinnamon. You get those beautiful flavours combining together. You can pour that straight into the bowl and serve. It's absolutely delicious dessert for one or two or three. If you'd like to get your own Optimum juicer, slide down below to the description and make sure you click on the Fruity site closest to you. Have a look at the raw food store on the Fruity website as well. It's got some great products that you can add to these kinds of things. A little bit of mesquite or lacuma, which are great superfoods from Loving Earth, are in the raw food store and they'd make this taste even better. And then of course, if you like this recipe, add your own recipes or ideas or combinations below in the comments and like the Fruity TV channel. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.